I'm just going to have you guys look at this for just a minute while I gather my thoughts. And I haven't gathered them yet, but I will take a swig of my coffee. Good coffee. And I will show you from, a, from afar my clean and organized desktop. And um, my computer desktop, the digital one that's made of ones and zeros, looks kind of like this. And a friend that was helping me try to deal with recovering accounts and passwords and shit like that after I had been hacked into. Um, I showed him, you know, he took over my desktop essentially to, to go into the bowels of my computer to try to f figure out how to fix it. And he said, what planet are you from? Because he couldn't understand how an earthling uh, could have created such a mess on his computer. Well, it's easy. <laughs> Just put it that way. I don't know how I do it, but it's certainly easy. So, here today I'm trying to clean up a little tiny bit because I can't walk uh, without tripping over things and making these little construction toys up here, I just showed you a piece of scrap, but you know what I'm doing. Um, there's debris everywhere. It looks like, you know, a 747 crashed in my house, and um, everything is everywhere, and, and no amount of putting things away will make it look like it will be clean. Anyway, so I'm tearing up things, I'm putting things in recycling, and, and I... I got a box in the mail. I don't remember even what was in it, other than a bunch of peanuts. And I'm tearing, I'm trying to make, turn the box into something flat that it won't take up space in the recycle room. And I'm ripping and tearing and trying to get through the tape. So I ended up just pulling the tape off randomly. And look what, look what's here. There's two eyes nostrils and a mouth and a tongue and um, I think I should you know show this to the Vatican because that's the Virgin Mary what do you think it looks as much like a Virgin Mary as people see in their toast and bagels and whatever else they they see these things in I imagine if every day, probably, in the bathroom when you're cleaning yourself with toilet paper, you could probably find just as many Virgin Marys as not. But the idea is we humans on this planet, on this planet right here, we... Are, we see faces and things that don't have faces. We see them in buildings, we see them in torn paper, tape. We see them you know, in a box with a fox here or there. We see them everywhere. And that's kind of fun. And it helps, it makes the artist's job a hell of a lot easier because uh, we have this inbred uh, ability to to make sense out of things that are less sensible we see faces even if they they're not there so if i'm trying to draw a face or paint a face you know it's already half done if i if i am vaguely talented and skilled i should be able to come up with something that looks like a face 
if a burn mark on your toast can look like the Virgin Mary, I certainly could make anything look like a face. Now, whether it looks like your face or someone else's face, that's a different story. So anyway, now I am, I've got some other things I have to clean up, but I thought I would share that with you. I know that you were waiting for my, no, you weren't waiting for anything. So what I'm doing, I'm looking th looking at these little bits and pieces. Now what, this is a wife beater t-shirt on part of a clothesline. That's what I see. Do you see a wife beater t-shirt? on a clothesline, maybe a flag, kind of. Um, what does that look like to you? What if I do this? What does that look like? What you should do, all of you, when you're done looking at me, look under William Kentridge, and he has a camera above a desk, and he's creating horses. He makes a horse out of cut pieces of paper, and it looks like a real horse, you know. Looks like a real horse, and then he moves it like this, and it looks like the horse moved. His legs and his head went up, and his tail went down, and he did this and that. And then he started taking things away, and it still was able, he was able to make three pieces of paper, or Five, he started with like 20 pieces of paper and then he started removing some of the things and was still able to create something that looked like a horse and when he was done with the video there might have been if 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 I had never seen the beginning of the video and someone said well what is that I might still say it's a horse even though there was one leg and a tail and a head and maybe an ear but there was something that was still horse like about it and but I think in, in that case it started off being a very detailed horse and he just removed bits and pieces and it's just it's mesmerizing uh, and fun and brilliant and everything um, one of my neighbors introduced me to the work that he did and I I met him once, and he he's sort of a man after my own heart. He wears pince-nez glasses on a ribbon going around his neck, and um, it's pretty cool. So here's, here's, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the wife beater off the line. Here's the legs of this guy. Here's his wife beater t-shirt. There's his head. In fact, let's just, where's my scissors? My scissor. How, how does the word scissor work? Do you do you have is there a scissor or are there scissors? Give me that pair of scissors. So this is a pair, this, this is a scissor, and that's another scissor, so there's a pair of scissors. I guess that's how it works. What do I know? Okay, I'm, I'm creating the arms on this guy carefully. As you can see, I measured that and everything. His fringe on his pair of chaps here needs to be removed. There we go. Now we got the wife beater. Where's my hot glue? It's always something. And if it isn't something, it's always something else. So, ow! God damn it! Hot glue is aptly named. Aptly named. Oh shit, well. So there's the legs and his arms. 
I guess I have made him I do it by I, this wasn't intentional necessarily but it is the way it turned out because he's has a wife beater on presumably this these are his arms since this is an undershirt so and he might have black pants on or he might be naked I don't know so where's his head gonna be Kitty what are you doing There's his other stuff, his junk. Um, no, we're not going to make it be junk. Is this so? Is this gonna, if this is his head? Is he facing this way or that way? I guess he's going to face that way. That thing that looks kind of like his nose that's almost falling off. He's a pencil neck, this guy. There. Glue. No. Glue. <clears throat> there. Is he going to be in, in wearing a hard hat? Now he looks like a turtle with a looks like a turtle with a wife beater on oh well short armed turtle with big feet okay. um, so let's do something else I when I was here yesterday creating things out of the debris field um, kind of without thinking about what they were going to be I ended up creating this art deco smoke kind of stuff happening and I thought that was kind of neat so I thought well maybe I'll oh that was going to be the arms wasn't it well, no wonder they look funny so oh, I'm just gonna I'm just going to make this guy's arm a little bigger. There we go. That looks better. Where's my glue? <clears throat> Ouch. Hot glue is still hot. It doesn't change. I'm going to make this go this way. Now this could be the back, or it can be, this could be the back or the front. This could be the back, looking at his back or his chest. Anyway, so one down. Let's make some more people. Uh, sometimes these, <clears throat> I used to make a bunch of people using the, the, uh, letters you know the B capital B was the head and the belly and upside down V were the legs and I think that that was fine for one set of figures but um, I'm gonna make see these are arms of a Harvard student oh that's certainly not the Harvard um, lettering that they would use. They have big serifs around their letters. Aha! 
Um, okay, Pierre. What are, you, what are you doing? Arms. This could be coveralls. White, like painter's pants. Painter's, whatever they're called. Painter's cover. Oh, God damn it. Hot, not only are is hot glue hot, <laughs> but hot glue guns are hot. <sighs> when will you learn, Pierre? Seems to me this should soon sink in. And you should learn that hot glue is hot. Hot glue guns are equally hot. So, you know, he's a referee. Kind of. You know, he's showing his, his bicep there. You're so strong. I'm not strong. I don't have muscles. And I don't understand people that... I mean, I do understand people that do. I guess there's nothing complicated about people that have muscles. I just... I like muscles that happen naturally. There was one guy that I used to draw a lot beautiful body and he had I don't think he had an ounce of fat on him and beautiful strong muscles his I think all of his muscles were equally developed and uh, he got it through his job which was loading luggage And here's a Ku Klux Klan member of the Harvard rowing team. Um, he got his muscles from um, loading airplanes, loading luggage. He was a baggage handler at Logan. And I've drawn other people who get their muscles from going to the gym. But usually what happens when people go to the gym is they really love their legs or whatever. Some part of their, their one part of their body they like, they tend to think is the thing that needs to get the muscles on it. And, and quite often they overshoot. And you've got someone that, you know, has little skinny arms and big strong legs which I guess is important if you're a runner or something, I don't know. But it just looks funny when, when there's one kind of muscle that's more uh, involved and, and uh, attended to by the, by the, uh, I'll just leave him without a helmet. Oh, two people. And the Virgin Mary. We made her today and two guys. Okay, what else can I do here? So, the, um, where was I going with any of this? I don't remember. That's what happens when I don't use a script. Here's an arrow. But what else can that, this, yeah, what else can this be? It, it's pretty much of an arrow. Yeah, I'll remove that arrowness right now. There we go. Now it's part of an arrow. But now it's it's legs. Big feet. Again, there are a lot of big feet on these guys I'm building. What are your thoughts about 
people that go to a gym and build up muscles versus people that load airplanes with luggage. I just like those better. God, you have such nice muscles. How did you get that? Well, I... I I'm a luggage handler, baggage handler at Logan Airport. I load 747s. Great! And then I could ask the other guy, those are great muscles, where do you get those? I go to the gym and I, and I sit down and I lift something really, really heavy and I put it back where I found it. And it's like, you what? You put it back after all that work of lifting it up? You, it's a phone receiver. Here's a telephone. Oops. Um, what do you mean? You let me see if I get this straight. You go went to a gym, and you lifted something up that was really heavy, and you put it back, right back where you found it. And you did it again. You did it more. Like, what? I don't get it. I d honestly, if you, if you can lift something heavy, like this guy is, see this could be his arms lifting up something heavy, you know, bring it somewhere where it's needed. You know, bring that big stone over to that wall. I don't know if these are going to be, you know, let's do that instead. This is going to be either legs or arms or a telephone. I haven't figured that one out yet. Let's see what else we can find. 21 minutes of my life that is irretrievable. Except I made two and a half men. Two and a quarter men. What have you done in 21 minutes and 13 seconds? 22 minutes and 13 se 15 seconds. You've been watching me, but I know you've been thinking about things and wondering how long I have on my release program from the state hospital. This looks like this. This looks like. Oh God, I'm off camera. How difficult this is. This looks like running a pair of running legs. This is on the ground. This is in the back. His body is over here. So let's just turn him into that. Since I, I have the power. I'm going to make his shirt a different color like I made the other people's shirts. Might as well. I'm on that shtick. white shirt on as well. Okay. Oh, maybe that. Maybe that's... I don't know. This is, this is coming together less obviously than the others. Which happens. Sometimes it happens. I think I need to adapt this a little tiny bit. Come on. One of the scissor didn't make it to the other end. <sighs> Come on, work together, you two scissor. There. Does that help? This beautiful shape no longer is as beautiful as it was. Okay, he's running. So his arms are going to be made of the same red. Where's my red?
I don't know if any of these creatures are going to live much longer. You know, they may end up as part of my, a part of a little scene I'll do with uh, figures in my construction scene. I may, I may end up, look at that little tiny head he has. Um, so I don't know. It's a, I'm just I'm just having fun, um, which is what I try to do when I'm sitting at my desk. Now that looks like his mouth. It's like he's opening his mouth, saying, "Run! It's gonna blow." There. Run away! Oh. There you go. You have three people. Got the Harvard cheerleader. Got the wife beater wearer. Turtle. And we've got the early warning system and the Virgin Mary. If any of you are wondering that of my my eternal soul I'm going to hell in a handbasket so it's just the way it is. Don't Don't worry about me. Um, see, this could be a shirt. These are legs. This is an arm, moving arm, and it's someone doing the splits. I still have to do this one. Let me just finish this because you guys have been so patient. I think what I want, though, is I want to find the cardboard that that came from. isn't it, but it's close enough. This is, um, uh, no, I really do want to find that same cardboard though, because it's, it's a, it's very, it's a certain white, and is this it? Okay, that was from that box, because I need, there's more of that paper. I want the white to be the same color white. It, this is kind of that color, but it's not. Is this correct? Yes. It's that box. Orthaloid. I found the box, and that's about. That's a huge box. Huge. Ah, look at this. Come on up. This is a box from Snake River Farms, whatever that is. Yes. So, I, look at that. He can be a, a Chinaman. I want to save this for something else, I don't know what. You know, this might say something like General Gao's chicken or something. What do they do at Snake River Farms that would be written in those characters? Oh, 
Okay, I just what I need to do is just make this may end up turning into a bulldozer for all I know. This could be the plow of the bulldozer instead. But just trying to figure out how to make the torso. Oh, there we go. See, that could be... He doesn't have much of a body. I need to put a little tiny bit of a body on him. This is his neck, his arms. I need a head on him too, I guess, don't I? this be part of the head? Looks kind of like a head. Could be his arms. I'll make it his head. Talking to myself again. Remember to trim off first here. I kind of like a little bit of the black around it because I used that for part of the feet. Feet. He just needs that much of a torso, I think. He could be big and fat. No, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna make him a, a pencil. This may need some shoring up. Boy, that was a mistake. That could be his arm. I like his little droopy elbow there. His little seraphs. Oh, I'm gonna have his arm go straight. Maybe it'll come down. Okay, I need a torso. A white torso. This is the skinniest guy with the biggest feet I've ever seen in my entire life. He goes to the gym and he does his toe exercises. He is a foot fetishist for a coach. Oh yeah, show me your feet. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Feet people, I don't get. When I was describing what I thought the sexiest part of a man was, their hands, some foot guy said, said to me, you're crazy. He said that to me. Oh, he's a foot person. You're crazy. I don't like that. There. That's better. I don't like that either, but it's better. I think I didn't like the fact that it was underneath. Like, like this is a very three-dimensional creature. And he's all moving forward here. You know, he needs to have that arm. He needs to have more. <sighs> Don't make me go back to that box and cut more things. Maybe, maybe that's, it was just that serif was bothering me in the middle. Here, if I can 
cover that up. There we go, that's better. Looks like he's throwing a javelin. He's at the Olympics. The Bigfoot Olympics. And he's about to throw his javelin. Speaking of the Olympics and bodies, I was just wondering, I know that you're not supposed to do things like take drugs to enhance your performance, but what if, let's pretend, I was born with webbed fingers. People are, a little bit of skin there, and because of that extra bit, it's like having flippers you know, on your feet, you go really fast in the water. So let's say I, with my webbed hands, found a nice dame with equally webbed hands, and we got married and gave birth to a child with really nice webbed hands. Yeah, really nice. And we trained them her, him or her to swim and they swam really well much faster would that is that cheating because I did genetic animal husbandry to get a to create a uh, a webbed handed child to win the gold medal somehow that seems like it's cheating to me Just like going to the gym to get muscles seems like it's cheating to me. You should get them naturally. I have really strong hands. I know they don't look it, but I can... That's about the only thing that... My stomach muscles are... I've got really good stomach muscles. But they're not... It's not my... On the outside, it's not a washboard stomach. It's on the inside. It's the muscles that make you know, deal with all the food I shovel down my gullet. Those are the muscles that count. Yeah. There. Four people. And 37, eight minutes. 38 goddamn minutes. Time to say goodbye. 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 Goodbye!